Good day. My name is Guy Mutsaert. I'm working for Goudsmit Magnetic Systems in Waalre, the Netherlands. Today I want to tell you something about what makes it that the iron part is attracted to the magnet. For this we have a, a measurement method called force index. A lot of people think that when I have a strong magnet the attraction will be more than when I have a ferrite or weaker magnet. That's not totally true. The truth is that I need a potential difference between the Gauss value, a delta. So when the Gauss value on the magnet is high and in the working point very low, I have a big attraction. When I have a high Gauss value on the magnet but in the working point is not so, so much difference, it will not give you a stronger attraction. Now I want to tell you something, what makes it ready to lift it. For this I'm going to do two simple tests. The first test will be with a magnet uh, and a ball and a nut. Those two parts has have about the same weight. I put it on my table, I will pick up my magnet and bring it down and see what will happen. Did you see this? What did we see? First, the nut was lifted and then the ball was lifted. So, okay, we see that the shape is important for lifting. Now I do a different test. And a lot of people think that a bigger shape will be lifted better than a smaller shape. But that's not true. I show you this in this small test. I have here three nuts. The center is about the same level of each. And I will do the same. And what you see is the following. Have a close look. And what you see is that those three parts are attracted at the same height. With this information, we know what force I need to lift a specific shape. And this force is called specific force index. So the force that you need to lift a shape. I can calculate the force index of a magnet. When I calculate this and I know the specific force, I can predict if a part is lifted or not. For this we have made a test report, as you can see on my video screen. And on the left you see the air gap, so the distance uh, from the magnet to the part. And you see the flux. In this case it was a flux measured by 20 and 70 degrees, it's an electromagnet. And the flux will change during the temperature rise. But when you know the flux density at a certain point, we can calculate the force index. For instance, when you take the force index at 20 degrees, you see that between 300 and 350 millimeter, the force index goes to 3500 and 2300. For lifting a ball, I just told you that I need 3000 Gauss. Now, what we see in practice, that you see on the right part of the test report, that this part is lifted at 310, and that's equal to the measurements that we have made. So in this way, we know exactly if a part is lifted or not. If you have more questions about parts to be lifted, you can always contact us. Thank you for joining.